With the Mattel College Housewing Carnival coming and going, the school's attention has quickly turned to the athletics program. Today, Mattel College held its athletic standards, which allows all students to participate in all events in a bid to qualify for the athletics carnival later in the month at Dudley Cornell Oval. B. Dixon Wright has more. In a few hours' time, this row will be busy with students from years 5 to 10 competing for a place in the Matoa College Athletics Carnival. Students from Degenhart, Meyer and Waterson will be circulating around the school competing in various running, jumping and throwing events. And today's weather couldn't be more perfect. The House Athletics Standards occur each year in the lead up to the Athletics Carnival. House captains organise and record their students' scores with an emphasis on maximum participation. Although the standards do not directly affect the results of the Athletics Cup, they are important for securing the Athletic Standards Trophy. This is awarded to the house with the highest average score per student. All participating students score a point for each event, with bonus points added to the students who meet certain standards. This number is then divided by the total number of students to form the overall average. It's an exciting time for all students, especially those at their first Athletic Standards. Uh, standards has been great so far. Um, we've only done, we've only just, we finished our sprints and we're nearly finished our uh, shot put. I did pretty good in my shot put. I, I like shot put and um, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. it I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be um, hard work, but um, hard work pays off, I guess so. Um, I'm today like doing the shot put and discus was my favourite and it was really fun to have my friends and competing with other kids and I'm looking forward to the um, ass. Oh, I came from Rasmussen. Um, my favourite um, thingy is the running. Um, well there's a lot more people and um, some of it's a bit harder and yeah. Staff supervise each of the events, which occur from period 3 to 6, but it's an exceptionally busy day for Mrs Henley and the house captains ensuring everything goes smoothly. Hi, I'm Kiana. I'm the Waterson Junior House Captain for the girls. Um, today has been pretty good. We've had a good show up, I guess. We're missing quite a few. The girls are trying their best, which is the main point. They're doing wonderful. Yeah, I'm a Degan Art member. Uh, house cap, well, junior house captain, but um, yeah, I gotta say, standard, standards are going pretty good. Uh, people are giving it their all. I'm Dagenhart's uh, junior captain, uh, Lily. Um, the yeah, standards are going really well so far. Um, all the girls are giving their best, uh, which is really encouraging. Um, they're all encouraging each other and they're all doing really, really well. Um, so, you yeah, know, it's all really good. During 2020, this event was cancelled due to the COVID 19 pandemic. So there's increased enthusiasm about the day, especially Year 10 students who may have worried they'd missed their final athletic standards. The standards were pretty good this year because we came back from COVID because last year we didn't get any. Like, we didn't get to do the sports last year. My favourite part about standards, well, it's got to be getting around everyone, getting around, supporting your house, supporting your teammates, supporting your colour. The winners of the Athletics Standards will be announced at the Athletics Carnival. But regardless of what house you're in or whether you win or lose, this is guaranteed. It's a better way to spend your Friday afternoon than in class. This is B. Dixon Wright, Matoa College News.